Welcome to another video. In this one, we'll show you how to bulk update Salesforce records in Titan Web. Let's have a look. So what I've got is I've got a bunch of accounts here with the name hospital or the word hospital in their name. And I want to be able to update all their account numbers one by one or in a bulk rather than one by one. So what we'll do is we'll go to Titan Web. Here's my strip and I'm going to make this strip a little bit smaller. And we'll put two fields in here. So we'll go over to input. My first field is going to be this one, and then the second field is going to be simply this one. And in the first one, I'm going to call this one account name, like this. Second one, account number, like this. And then just going to go ahead and add another strip. And let's make this one shorter as well. And in this strip here, I'm going to insert my button, which is going to update all the records. So here it is. And I'm just going to give it a name, bulk update accounts, like that. So the first thing I want to do is I want to do a get. Okay, I want to bring all the records in a repeated strip. So what I do is I click on the strip, click on the gear icon, and then say repeat column. That's the first thing I need to do, all right? And you can change the column width if you wish, it's up to you. I'm gonna keep mine like this. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a get, and the get is gonna bring back accounts. So here we go, create new, choose object account, and it's gonna be on load, account, hospitals, up to 10 records, condition, name, must, contain the word hospital and then in the mapping I'm gonna say so this is important in the value strip value you must bring back the record ID in my case it's the account ID that's important and then here I want to do account name and then number is the last field that I need once I've got it click close click save and then let's do a quick quick preview and see what data we're bringing back so here it is all the data repeated strips coming back with the data here now I want to be able to bulk update all of them rather than having to do it individually that's really the point of this video to be able to bulk update records so here's how you do it I've got my button here click on the action configure action Salesforce action we're gonna do a push Choose push, choose account, give it a description, update accounts. And this one will be update. And then the next thing you need to do is do record ID mode and bulk mode switched on. And then check all because we want to be updating all of them, not just the first one or the last one, but all of them. And then in the condition, it's going to be the record ID. In my case, it's the account ID equals a strip value. Remember how we said do the get into the strip value? This is exactly what we're doing here. We're basically saying that strip value equals my record ID, which is the account ID in my case. And then simply to the mapping. And the only field I actually really want to update is the account number. So here we are. And we will map here to account number. That's the only one I want to do here, just for this demo purposes. So click apply. That looks good. Let's assign my action. Click apply, apply save and then let's do a preview okay as you can see 10 20 30 40 50 67 10 20 30 40 50 67 all right so here's what i'm going to do instead of i'm just going to keep adding a zero here so 100 200 300 400 500 600 and then this one will be 700 and then all I'm going to do is bulk update the account. Now, obviously, the first place you check is your integration logs. This is what it will look like in your integration logs, account update, and the number of records it's done. And then, simple as that, I'll just refresh here. And as you can see, my account numbers have been updated to 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, and so on. And uh, this is how you do it. It's very, very simple to do, as you can see from the video here. Just a couple of one to two configurations 
and then your integration logs will tell you the story of what happened. The key idea is that obviously you make this repeated by clicking on repeat column. Then you need to bring the uh, variable ID into the column and then update that variable ID per repeated column. And this is how it's done.